is holding me back I want you to hold out the palm of your hand Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing to say James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play As It Was by Harry Styles. Now this tune is quite easy. It's just the same four basic chords over and over again with the most common strumming pattern ever. There's a little melody thing. So it's not going to be too tricky to put this one together. But if you do need some extra help, I have a free ebook. It's completely free for all my subscribers. I'll put a link in the corner and you can get your copy. It goes over all the fundamentals of guitar. And uh, as far as sheet music, just look it up on Google. Ultimate Guitar has a completely accurate one. And, um, you know, I'd feel like if I put one up on my Patreon, I'd be ripping you off. It'd be like this long with just like four, four chord symbols on it. You know, it's such a simple song. Anyways, um, we're going to start off with the chord shapes. First, we have A minor. And from there, we go to D. And the transition from A minor to D is actually the hardest part of this song. So, you know, you might need to take a moment to work on that, or you might be super comfortable with that already. Um, I recommend just going through it silently over and over. And then we're going to pivot off of our ring finger into a G chord. So from D, we get into that G chord, and then we switch into C. And G to C is another one of those where there's no finger, there's no trick to switching between them. You just gotta do it over and over again. First, silently. And I actually have, um, in my free ebook, I have training videos that go through all the common switches, including those. So definitely check that out if you need some extra help with it. Otherwise, that's it. We just need those four chord shapes. So let's put them together into the progression. I'm going to strum them with downstrokes only and count out loud so that we can get each one for the right amount of time. You know, because that's, that's all there is to it. We'll start on A minor. One, two, three, four. It's really important that you go through that step and work out the switches while counting out loud. You know, that's definitely the, you know, we're training up our chord hand by doing that. And once we're good with that, we can add the strumming pattern, which is the most common strumming pattern ever. It goes like this. So that's down, down, up. Then we miss the strings on beat three, up, down, up. Let's break it down. Um, first we go down, down, up. Downbeat on beat on downstroke on beat one and a down up on beat two and we count it out like this three four one two three four down down up three four three four three 
four. Notice how I'm saying three, four out loud. And that's because it helps me stay in that four beat loop, you know? And um, so practice it just like that. And then we can take a look at the second half. And for that one, we count one, two, then we miss the strings and go up, down, up. So one, two, miss, up, down, up. One, two, miss, up, down, up. And once you're comfortable with both halves, we put that together. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, miss, up. So take your time with that pattern. If you need extra help with it, I'll put a link in the corner to a separate tutorial that I made that covers just that pattern. And now with our chord progression and our strumming pattern, we can pretty much play the entire song. We're gonna do the pattern two times per chord shape. And in our little cycle, last time we practiced it, we started on A minor. Now, when we're playing at the very beginning of the song, that is how it goes. But when you take a look at the different sections, like the verse and the chorus, they start on the C chord. So it's the same order. We're just starting on the C chord. And I'm going to get my metronome out because it is a really good habit to learn how to use one. And you can learn how to use one with me. I don't know, set it to 100. That probably will feel good. The actual recording is at 174 beats per minute. So we're just a little over halfway there. One, two, one, two, three, four. is it for the chords. The only other thing you need to know is right after the bridge, which is the part where it's like, go home, go ahead, light speed internet. Um, right after the G chord, we're going to add a little break for the melody that we're about to learn. So during that part, you just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you know, so, so it would go like this. I don't want to talk about who's doing it first. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we go into the A minor chord. So we basically just skip the C chord there. And that's it. That's You can just see that. I'll just put that at the top. That's the only other bit of the tune that you'd need to, you know, the, the only time you'd need to not just play these same four chords in a row, you know. Um, anyways, let's take a look at the melody now. The melody has two parts to it. The first part... And then the second part, which is pretty much the same thing, just the ending's a little bit different. So let's take a look at that in order. For the first part, we're going to break it down into three little bits. The first bit, so I'm on the G string, the open G string. I pluck the string and I hammer onto the second fret with my middle finger. And then I'm going to play the open B string. And then the second little bit, we're going to go. So we're just doing upstrokes there. We're going one and two and three and four and one and two. You know, it all lines up with the ands. So we're doing upstrokes. They're all off beat. 
and we just pluck the second fret four times. You know, it's it's pretty simple in that regard. Just getting that offbeat feeling, especially at full speed, definitely will take a little bit of practice. And you know, that's one of those things that you get out your metronome for. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you know, and you just work through it over and over again with your metronome like that. I'll do it one more time. One, two, three. Four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then the final bit of that, we do an upstroke on the open G string. And then on the third fret of the B string, we go down, up, and then the open B string. Let's try the whole thing with a metronome nice and slow. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to go down to like 60, just so we have a lot of, lot of time. One, two, three, four. And the other half of this entire melody starts with the same two bits. It's just the last part that's different. So it goes. And then here we just go. So an upstroke on the open G string. And then on the second fret, two, O. Oh, and those are both downstrokes. So just take a minute with that. And then we'll try that slowly with our metronome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, as far as when to use the melody, we play it at the very beginning, doing the First part, second part, first part, second part. So at the very beginning, it goes like this, 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. next time we play it is during the chorus on the last four chords. So on the last C, A minor, D, G, we it, it's the exact same thing that we just did and it lines up perfectly with those chords. And then we do it on the next chorus in the same place. And then finally, at the very end of the bridge during that melodic break, you know, the strumming guitar goes, I don't want to talk about his So we play the melodic break and then we just keep doing, keep going between the two parts until the end of the song and we end it with. So that's it. That's the entire song. If you want a full playthrough where I do it with a drum beat nice and slow and there's a melody and you know everything the lyrics and everything to guide you through it that's available on my patreon page and if you're not familiar patreon is a place where my students can help support the channel by giving a small monthly donation and in exchange they get play alongs like that and worksheets for all of my non-song lessons and you know a bunch of other perks all for like two bucks a month so definitely uh, take a look at that if you want to play along and do the whole thing with me. Don't forget to get your copy of my free ebook, completely free for all my subscribers. I'll put a link in the corner for that. And um, otherwise, have a fun time practicing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.